Hello everyone, my name is Yiwen. I would like to present a haptic caption system using audio haptic interfaces to enhance speaker indication in real-time captions for deaf and hard hearing viewers. This is the work I did with my colleagues at the Logistry Institute of Technology. Captions are widely used in different media sources to support DHH viewers in understanding spoken contents and following the conversations. However, in multi-speaker scenarios, such as panel discussions, live streams, caption alone can be challenging for DHH viewers to identify the active speakers in real time due to often off-screen speakers, the conversation rapidly speech uh, between multiple speakers and technical delay between sound and the caption auto generated by ASR. Previous works on speaker indications has been focused on visual methods, including uh, caption positioning, visual cues indications, and textual cues embedded with captions. For example, using avatars with character images and names replacing a light bulb to indicate the current speakers. The researchers has been also investigated the HH viewer's preference for visual-based speaker indication methods like color captions and speaker names. Many challenges have been found using the visual methods for non-real-time captions, such as visual overload, difficulty to follow and distraction costs in multi-speaker scenarios. Inspired by audio haptic methods to enhance sound awareness of DHH peoples, we proposed a haptic caption system which produce real-time vibrations through a voice coil actuator and the power amplifiers using tactile toolkits. To evaluate the haptic caption system, we conduct a three phases experiment to answer three research questions. First, how do DHH viewers perceive speaker information in the media content through haptic feedbacks alone? Second, what are the user preference and efficiency of speaker indications of haptic captioning compared to existing real-time and non-real-time captioning methods? Third, how does the haptic caption assistance affect the DHH user's experience and what factors should be considered in future designs? To answer our Q1, the goal of the preliminary study is to qualitatively explore the DHH user's abilities to perceive speaker characteristics. We removed the captions and the visuals from the videos as we wanted the participants to only focus on the haptic feedback. We select 16 one-minute clips from the YouTube, and after each clip, we ask participants to answer two questions regarding the perceived number of speakers and perceived demographic information. Overall, the average accuracy for the perceived number of speakers is 70.34%. The result is still promising considering the system evaluated in the study only through the vibrations. Participants' feedbacks reveal that DHH users can infer the speaker's demographic information through the vibration intensities. However, these participants might still feel uncertain of their uh, answers when speakers have similar voice patterns or speaker's tones changed. Next, we conduct a within subjects studies with seven conditions in non-real-time caption modalities. Avatar captions, color captions, position caption, pointer captions, speaker name captions, and real-time caption modalities, traditional real-time captions. And we use the same still for the haptic captioning. The order of the caption modality is randomized. In study one, we first ask participants to report preceded speaker transition movements through experimental interfaces. After each condition, participants fill out a self-reported questionnaire using 
by point of Likert scale, we conducted a post-study interviews to understand the subjective experience in depth. We recruited 16 participants, including nine males, six females, and one non-binary, aged 18 to 35. We recruited them from the local groups on Facebook and the Institute's mailing list. The overall result of perceived speaker transition accuracy showed non significant difference between the caption modalities, including real time and non real time caption methods. In the self report questionnaires, we compared haptic captions with traditional real time captions and non real time caption methods. The results show that although it is not significant, Haptic captions had better rating compared with traditional ratings, traditional real-time captions in all dimensions, more engagement, more confidence in speaker indications, more comfortableness, better understanding, and less difficulty in following instructions and fatigue. The post hoc analysis showed the position captions, non real-time caption message performed significantly better than haptic captions in the engagement, com confidence, and comfortableness dimensions. The post-study interviews helps us further understand the user preference as well as the characteristic of the haptic caption systems. One participant commented on the benefits of the haptic caption systems as I think the haptic caption is better than others, so it helps me healing the vibration and read the captions in which it will switch the speaker so it looks like Pal's voice by the speaker. Some concerns also remained. As P6 mentioned, destruction is like, I was trying to focus on the caption content, but then I felt the buzz and switch my attention to my watch and realize I forgot it means switching speakers. Participants provide suggestions that using haptic captioning in combinations with other visual caption methods as haptic captioning added another level of feelings connected to the content being shown. In formula previous to two studies, we first played a trail and asked participants to preferred vibration positions. Then we played three four minutes videos with four journals, postcast, spots, live streams, and movies in three settings. We conducted a semi-structured interviews to elicit the user feedback in different application settings and explore other factors that could inform the future design. Through the semantic analysis, we identify three emerged themes, attention, perceptions, and customizations. Participants reflect on several posi positive experiences when using the haptic caption systems as it improved the caption readability and maintained the media engagement. Moreover, the haptic caption system combined with the traditional real-time system enhanced the user perception of emotions and then assisted speaker indications, especially when speaker is off screen. We also identified several situations in which the system's designs need to be improved to accommodate various user needs. As participants discussed their concerns, we discovered that there are design opportunities to customize haptic caption systems to fit different contexts. Due to the time constraints, we recommend you to read the full papers for more details. Some design implications for future haptic captioning systems. We want to provide adjustable vibrations based on usage context and generate distinguishable haptic patterns for haptic captions. We want to support immersive experience through spatial audio haptic feedbacks through a trustable or built-in systems. One of our ongoing work is the conversational tool to present more rich speech and non-speech information. Thank you for listening. Uh, for more questions, please contact us.